Hey guys, back with more Crusaders of Light and today I'm gonna make a level up guide on how or what to do when you're stuck and your gold quest, which is your main quest line on the left here, when your main quest line you need to grind up to a level to be able to activate it. So right now as you can see I'm stuck at level uh, 44 and I need to be level 45 to do the next quest. 45 is the max level so what should you do once um, you hit uh, when you come to this stage where you have to level up uh, without the main quest line? So first of all, my level right now is level 44. I'll probably be 45 tomorrow, I think. So the current maximum server level. So this is uh, important to know. Uh, so if you go to your character right here, experience and then information. It will tell you what the current server level is, which is 44, same level as I am. And your current uh, server class talent level is 30, uh, same as my talent level. So you, you can go above this level, you can go level 45 and level 31. But what happens is once you hit 31, you will start getting half the XP uh, from uh, quests and such. You don't want to do that. Um, you don't want to go to like, am I, you don't want to get level 31 class talent level because you start getting less XP unless you're only focusing on one path. Uh, so let's start. First of all, what you should do every day, uh, do all your solo adventure stuff first. So right here, you go to adventure, top left here, and then you go to reputation tasks, and then when, as you can see, I have I have finished it. Uh, five of the reputation tasks. So once you have reputation tasks, depending on your level, you might have two, you might have three, you might have four, you might have as many as I have. Always start with the bottom one uh, because that's the most important one uh, you want to finish first. So if I do Yarnstar City and White Rose Village, I can't get XP from Council of Light and uh, I think Rev Revage Village. So you have to choose which one do you want to do and you will obviously get more XP from um, the hardest one. So this is solo quest. Basically what you do here, you go to your reputation task, you click your Star City, you click go. It will take you there. It will work like a, your main gold quest. It will give you a blue quest, lets you finish it. You can do it automatically, you can do it manually, however you want. Do all these solos. You do your Star City or you do Council of Light, Strange Events right here. Uh, if that's what you have, then you do preparation quest. If that's what you have, you do your Q and A. Uh, you just click go. Like this is how I can show you guys real quick what do you do. You click go, and look at the XP. I'm getting XP every time. So you answer these questions. Even if you answer wrong, even if you answer wrong, you're gonna get the XP. And this Q and A is really easy uh, because you can read and. Um, see what uh, you can read and it will show you in the pictures what it means really so uh, you get XP all these things you gotta do it every day it resets at uh, depending on your time find out when it resets uh, all right let me just do this real quick oops this and this and then the last one is this Alright, so I got a bunch of XP right there. So this is what you want to do. You want to finish all of uh, these uh, solo tasks. And then after you finish the solo tasks, you go to events. And then you want to do all these other daily events. So trial quest is probably the one that gives the most XP. So this is a group quest. If you don't have a guild, don't have friends to run with at your time. Uh, this is a very easy automatic quest. You can do it like... Uh, uh, this is why I like the uh, auto battle because trial quests. You start here. You will have. You will need a group, as it says. If you don't have a group, here's what you do: you go to battle. You click on the plus, right here. You go to daily events, and then here is all the daily events you need to do. Join a group right here. You will need three people. It will, they will take you to it. All you have to do is either follow, or you can be the lead and start uh, auto battling the quests. They take a long time. You can do 20 quests which will give you a lot of XP or 20 trials which will give you a lot of XP but you can go all the way to up to 80 out of 20 trials uh, and keep getting XP until you've done 80. After that you'll start getting um, medallions. 
So once you've done your trial, you can either save it for last to start with it or whatever you feel like uh, doing. You go to your irritable elementals, you get very nice XP, and depending on your level, if you're level 40, you don't want to run with any level 30s because level 41s will give you more XP and better rewards. And uh, so uh, try find someone your level. Same thing, you can go if you don't have any to run with. You go to the same battle screen, and you'll do uh, the elementals. They will give you about over 10k XP, I think. Then you have your solo tournaments right here. You click and go. You'll have to leave your team for that. So right now I'm in a team, but this is what you do. You do these. You get XP. You fight either bots or you fight real players, and they can revenge you. And this will give you XP also. And then yeah. Guild quests here right here if you're in a guild try join a guild if you don't have one do your guild quest gives you XP and guild events gives a lot of XP and I'm gonna show you right now so after you've done all the daily events go to your timed events and oh it's protector relic today oh that's tomorrow so if you're in a guild you can do guild bonfire or guild goblins they'll give they give a lot of XP up to 10 to 12k XP also make sure you participate and do your guild guild things. Full event demon invasion will give you XP. Protector relic will give you XP. Elemental leaders gives XP a lot of XP. So here you can choose which difficulty you want, and you can do only do it two times. You get XP from that. So there's a bunch of ways to get XP and a lot to do every single day. And then when you're done with all the daily events, the timed events, your reputation tasks, go to your raids, normal modes, do all your raids. So. Three raids will give you most ex uh, give you XP, and then six raids will give you loot. So what I would do is do Goblin Camp first, Ancestral Altar, Dire Galleon, get as much XP you can out of it, and that will be your XP on this. And then there will be one heroic dungeon every um, twice, I think. Wait, let me see. Twice a week, heroic dungeon will give you XP. Do your heroic dungeon, team raids, do your team raids if you can. Fort Desolation uh, gives a lot of XP. If you can kill the first boss or the second boss in Team Raids, do that. A Chimera, depending uh, every week. So as you can see here, there's a lot of way to get XP. Uh, so all you gotta do is just participate. Do Battlefield, do Arena, uh, do as much as you can and you will get a bunch of XP uh, every single day. And uh, you can reach, uh, that's how I got to level 44 already. And uh, then uh, you can reach the gold quest. The second you get the gold quest, your level up to gold quest, I would advise you to do the gold, gold quest as soon as possible because the gold quest will give you new reputation tasks. So all the uh, reputations like Wine Talker, White Rose Village, and Star City, every uh, reputation is unlocked by doing the gold quest line. So do the gold quest line the second you can. Unlock the new reputation task and then you do the reputation task for more XP. And this is how you're gonna level up the best and all the reputation tasks will make sure you level them up because as you can see here you can buy the first epic gear piece with the reputation points and they get ready for the hard raids. And now I have explained normal XP, the character XP. The other thing is uh, your talent XP right here. As you can see, I'm missing uh, to level 31, but I don't want to level 31 because the max path level right now is 30. So, how to get talent XP? You can do two event events, I think, or three. Two events every day. And my advice for you would be to do... Uh, let me see here. An Ancient Runes, nope. Battle of Relics, five people, have a good team. We'll give you 11, 12k talent XP. Uh, rescue the elemental very good ancient runes I wouldn't advise doing ancient runes because there's a problem with it I hope they fix it in the future uh, the problem with ancient runes right now is that you need 20 people and if someone ends up leaving mid event then you won't be able to finish it because they won't loot their chests uh, which makes you unable to finish it so uh, do be do the events do all your do all the daily tasks that's how you're gonna level up, that's how you're gonna get XP. You don't get XP from farming uh, mobs uh, or anything. So this is how uh, you do it and I like this way a lot. It's um, really good because it also with the having a max, uh, putting a cap on it also keeps a lot of people on the same level and the same stage so no one gets uh, far ahead in the leveling. So guys, I hope this was helpful. If you guys, any other guides or any 
have any questions just ask me below and I'll do my best to answer or make another video uh, if uh, you guys request that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. It's coming very soon on all uh, uh, continents I think end up like I think next month they're gonna do the release if I find out more I'll let you guys know so stay tuned guys the game is a lot of fun right now and if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on it and again guys thanks so much for watching bye